Hey guys, Dan here with Vittertech, and today we're taking a look at how to set up your SwitchBot accessories with HomeKit. So by default, SwitchBot accessories are not able to work with HomeKit. Instead, they use Siri shortcuts, so you are able to ask Siri to open your curtains or press a SwitchBot. But there's a couple reasons why you might want to use HomeKit. Number one being that it's going to sync across your whole home, meaning everyone in your family will have access, whereas Siri shortcuts are saved locally on your device. Number two, maybe you just have a bunch of HomeKit accessories and you want them to be able to communicate together. The whole point of a smart home is that it's smart and it can play off of each other in intelligent ways. And the best way to do that is to put them all into one single place, which is exactly what we're trying to accomplish with Hoobs. Now let's get into the tutorial. For the purpose of this demo, I'm using the iPad Pro, but you can use any device as long as it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Hoobs box. So first we're going to open Safari and we're going to go to hoobs.local. Another option is that you can use your IP address if you know it, in my case I'm using mine. And then on the left hand side, you're going to go to plugins. You'll notice a new redesign if you're new to Hoobs 4. This is the latest software update. And we're going to search for SwitchBot. Now you're going to notice here there's a bunch of them, but the one you want is the one that says certified because you know that that is the correct one for the SwitchBot lineup. That'll open the details page where you can see all of the instructions on how to install simply by searching SwitchBot and hitting install, and then the configuration of downloading the SwitchBot app, making sure you're signed into your account, and then generating an open token within the app. Simply by putting that token in, it'll work with Hoobs. Now the supported devices are listed here as well, which are pretty much the entire lineup, as long as you have the SwitchBot Hub Mini or the SwitchBot Hub Plus. You do need one of those so that it can connect to the network properly. Now we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna hit install, and you have the option to either create a new bridge for this plugin if you want it separate, or just add it to the standard Hoobs bridge, and then hit install. And this is gonna take us through the installation process so you can see it going through all of these steps. Now this might take a little while depending on how fast your hoops and your network connection are. So now it's refreshed and it says the plugin is installed. So now we can see that it is installed and we're going to go to the top and hit configuration. Here you can see there's a spot for a token which we need to generate. The way that you do that is opening your SwitchBot app and then going to preferences. You're going to tap the app version five times and then hit developer options. You'll hit get token and you can copy that token. And if you're on an iOS device, then you can use universal clipboard to paste directly in. And you will want to do that because it's a huge number. Now you can see all of your options like hiding a device and setting your switch mode bots versus your press mode bots. Aside from that, you can just scroll down and hit save and it'll tell you your configuration has changed. Once that's done, it tells you your bridge has started and then you can go over to the log to just make sure that they're actually loading correctly. Here you can see it loading in all of my SwitchBot, and there you can see a list of all of my accessories successfully pulling into hoops. It's also loading things like my garage door, and if you want to see how to set up your garage door with hoops and HomeKit using the MyQ API, then go back to my channel and make sure you watch that. Next, we're going to hit accessories and just make sure again that they are pulling into hoops. Here you can see bedroom curtains, coffee maker bot. You can see all the details. You can change the room if you want to, but I leave them the same in Hoobs. And now just to confirm, we're going to open the Home app.
And here you can see them all pulling in. You see all of the curtains. By default, because my bridge is located in the basement, it does add all of my accessories to the basement. So in some cases, if you have two curtains, then you're going to want to group them together so that they're able to open and close together. In that case, you can simply press on the accessory and then go down to group accessories. Select the accessories you want to group. Then rename them. And now I'm going to set them to be in my bedroom. After that's done, you can close the accessory and it'll save. You'll see by default, a lot of my accessories are located within my basement. That's because my bridge is located there. So by default, it throws in all of my accessories. However, you can change all of those manually by clicking on the accessory and then changing the room within HomeKit. And here you can see they've named my curtains curtain twice. So I'm going to change the naming of that. And again, close it to save. And here we'll test it out. I'm just clicking it. And here you can see the screen getting darker because my office curtains are closing. The one thing I have noticed is that they can go out of sync where they say they're open, even though they're closed. But regardless, still works within HomeKit. You can still ask Siri or use the Home app to open and close your curtains. And as you can see by the lighting, they are opening again. All right, guys, so that was the tutorial of the SwitchBot plugin with Hoobs. If you want to see any other Hoobs tutorials, take a look at my channel. Remember to hit that subscribe button to be updated on ones that are happening in the future. If you had any questions or comments about this tutorial, leave them down below in the comments. While you're there, remember to hit the like button because it tells YouTube that videos like this don't suck. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.